Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how I created the cover for my latest novel using Photoshop Elements. It's pretty easy to do and if you're creating books or novels or covers or posters or just about anything, you can use this technique. Let me show you how to do it. What you're seeing on the screen here is the cover and it's designed to fit Kindle. I've got different covers that are print covers as well, but we're just going to do the Kindle cover right now. First thing you'll want to do is to go to File and New and Blank File and create a file that's 1600 by 2560 wide. Make sure that it's transparent. Then click OK. Next thing you want to do is put a background color there. I've already selected an orange color here and I kind of like that color. So I'm going to go up to my Flood Fill bucket and click to fill the page. Now what I usually do now is to bring a graphic onto the screen. And I've got one down here that I licensed from Shutterstock. Shutterstock is where you can license images for use in your project. So we're just going to bring that on right here. I want it to be a little smaller, so I'm going to use my selection tool and change the size so that I can move it around on the page. And that's close to where I want it, but I'll move it later on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the book title. And to do that, we select the text tool. And on text tool, we choose a font face. I'm choosing Grow Bold. I want it to be regular. I want the font size to be about 350 and I want the leading to be 340. The leading is the spacing between the lines and I want the color to be the same as there is right here in this sign and the way to do that is I click the color, I come down to the palette, I use the eyedropper tool and choose that color and then click OK. Now we're going to go up here and type the name of the book and that's it right there. We're going to click that. We'll move the book title right about there. I can see already I need to make this smaller so we'll do that. Change it again later on when we need to. I'm going to put the subtitle right here of the book. We're going to use the text tool again. I'm going to use the same font face but I'm going to go for a lot smaller size about half of what I've got there. Uh, there it is right there. I've got a misspelled word. We'll change that adventure. We adjust the font size until we get it the way we want. We've got our graphic right there. The only thing we really need to do now is to put the author name and we're going to use the same thing we did before. We're going to use the text tool. We're going to use the same font and we're going to use the same color. So we type in the author name. We move it over to where we want it. Again, we're going to use the text tool and we're going to make that a lot larger. We're going to play with it until we get the size that we want. That's 240. It looks pretty good. We're going to move this down near the bottom of the page. We're going to select our graphic. We're going to make the graphic larger. And now all we have to do is add a little shadow to our title text. We do that by selecting it, going to Layer, come down to Layer Style, Style Settings. We're going to make sure we can see it. We're going to add a drop shadow to it. We may put a stroke, which is a line around it. So in the drop shadow, what I'm going to do is push the opacity way up. I'm going to change the distance so the shadow drops a little bit further. I can change the direction of the shadow. I think I like it right there. And that looks pretty good. I click OK. And what I can do now is I can right click and where it says copy layer style, I'll copy that and then I'll go to the other elements here and I'll click layer, layer style, and then paste layer style. And I can do that on each one of those. And there we have it. That's what the cover looks like in real time. It only took me about eight minutes to create that. And you can see it looks pretty good. The key is this image right here. You want to find an image first. That's the one and license that Shutterstock. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.